cliff retreat and wave cut platforms on the LXL 91 GCC geography course. So the key words that you're going to have to know, cliff, high tide, erosion, hydraulic action, abrasion, wave cut notch, weathering, freeze thaw, overhang claps, cliff retreat, backwash, and wave cut platform. Once I got to the end of the video, if you want to, you can come back and you can use this list as a checklist uh, to write your own response as a practice. So weathering. Freeze thaw weathering weakens uh, the rock creating joints. This makes the rock more susceptible to erosion, particularly hydraulic action. And this weathering and erosion occurs particularly at high tide and in storm conditions. Right, so as you can see, I've got my diagram here. And remember to never use a ruler in your diagram, especially when you're drawing uh, natural processes, and natural objects, because they would never be straight in real life. You should also annotate your uh, diagram for the examiner, examiner, okay, to show them that you know what you're talking about. So you might have it here, but make sure you show it on your diagram here as well. Right, so the wave cut notch. Over time, the C and the waves erode the rock through abrasion and hydraulic action. This erosion creates a wave cut notch in the cliff face. So this bit here is the wave cut notch. Okay, so you've got the erosion and the hydraulic action and the abrasion, which has caused this here, this bit of the cliff to erode away. Cliff claps. As the wave cut notch increases in size, the size of the overhang increases. Okay. So weathering also targets the overhang weakening it. So as the wave cut notch gets bigger, your overhang is going to get bigger. Okay. And then the weathering, the freeze thaw weathering is going to attack and it's going to weaken the uh, overhang here until finally the overhang is weakened and unsupported so much that rock fall mass movement occurs and collapses the cliff. So rock fall here. So at one point, this is going to be here, this bit rock here. And then suddenly it's going to become so unsupported, it's just going to collapse. Cliff retreat. Right, so as you can see, the rock's not here anymore. That's because the backwash carries the rock away from the base of the cliff. Okay, so you've got the swash, which is going to erode it away. And then once it becomes small enough uh, that the backwash has enough energy to carry it away, away from the base of the cliff here. And this uh, and the swash, the waves, form a wave cut platform. The backwash, where it's taken it away, cause, uh, forms a wave cut platform, which is this bit here, from where the cliff once was. Okay, so the backwash carries it away, and where the cliff was is here. Okay, you're not going to be able to see this at, um, at high tides because the waves, because uh, the water is going to be covering it, as you can see here. But at low tide, you're going to have the water about here, so you are going to be able to see the wave cut platform. Okay, and then once this has happened, the process repeats over and again. Okay, with the wave cut notch formed, the overhang, and it's just going to carry on and it's going to retreat the cliff back along the coastline.